Okay, it's Sunday night. I'm headed to the thrift store because my husband's out of town and so we can't do a normal date night. And I'm like, why not just go shopping? So <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Okay, what do you think? Those people over there are looking through the donation boxes and just taking stuff. Is that like wrong or whatever? Actually, I think I might get these. They're $10, but they're new with tags. And I've done well with the style before used. So it's a good time to be selling shorts. These ones are 15, so I'm gonna say no on those. These people behind me, this lady's like, oh yeah, I work at the local strip club. Well, it's called Lipsticks, so <laughs> that's a great name, right? And the guy's like, oh yeah, I know somebody who works there, Anastasia. And then he's talking about people he knows he works there. I'm like, I'm getting away from you. Like, please don't come near me. <laughs> that creepy guy is still in here. Now he's talking to other ladies. He got the other ladies, like, information of when she's working. I'm like, why is all the ghetto people in here right now? <gasps> I know Trip NYC can be good, but I don't know if these camo ones are as good, and I don't know what these are, so I'm going to look them up. I went through all the dresses and found nothing, so that sucks. Okay, I didn't end up filming that much in there because it was just kind of loud. Like, I'm pretty sure two of those ladies were drunk or high or something. <laughs> I have to put in a little clip. I was like, oh my gosh, it was like kind of entertaining, but like the guy was what creeped me out the most. Like, I wouldn't be kidding anywhere. I'd be like, cool. Oh, look at these. Aren't they cute? Look, look. Lean on me when you're not strong. Unless you're a man without a job. <laughs> Yeah. Getting the bartender at the strip club's hours and putting them in his phone, I'm like, uh, you need to stay away from me. Anyway, I did find a few things, not a ton, so I'll probably show them later, or maybe I'll just do another haul tomorrow. I'm filming this Sunday night, like I said, and I think I'll do a little bit more tomorrow. I'm going to go to another store in, out in Omaha and I'm going to pick up this really cute Disney Duty and Burke purse. So I will show you maybe everything at the end. Okay, I'm going to go get some food and then head home and finish up my drafts that I want to do for tonight. Can you go see Ellie? Hi Ellie, you want to come out? The kids are at youth group so it's just going to be me and Ellie. Hi. Hi. Oh, hi. Hi, Ellie. <laughs> okay, it's so the next day. I'm heading to Target because I need new sunglasses. Mine broke yesterday in the thrift store. And then I'm going to go meet up with that lady and get that Dooney purse. So I'll show you guys once I get that picked up. Okay, let me show you what I got. She had some other Disney stuff too. So I got this Disney Vera Bradley. It's super cute. It's kind of like a medium-sized quilted crossbody. I don't know how much it goes for, but I'm like... It was too cute not to get it. And then she had like <laughs> dish towels and I'm like, okay, I need some more of those. So I got some Disney, sorry the like lighting is really not the best in here. And then here's the bag. It's so cute. Look at all the details. It's like a tooled leather. I said I was gonna sell it, but I'm like, oh, am I gonna be able to sell this? It's super cute. Let me know in the comments. Maybe I need to look up like how much comps are like for real. It's in like excellent condition. So we'll see. I might sell it though. I don't know if I would use that this much, but ugh. it's super cute. Okay. I'm going to head to a Goodwill while I'm out here in Omaha and I'll let you know if I find anything good. I'm going to try to be pretty picky. I found these Paul Green shoes. And they're only like six bucks. This is a new with tags made well plus size skirt. And then I found these beta brand pants, so we'll see what else I can find. Look at these super tiny kid shoes. Converse. I don't know if I'm gonna keep those ones. Look at these miniature little keens. I've never seen keens that tiny. 
Oh my gosh. Okay, I did find a few decent things in there. Not like a crazy cart full like I get sometimes. I think I'm gonna stop at one more Goodwill before I go home. And then I'll do a haul of everything I got yesterday and today. I spotted these three Lululemon bras on the new rack right when I walked in. So I had to get those. Not finding too much here so far. I found, like I showed earlier, those few Lululemon bras and leggings off the new rack. I'm gonna look through dresses and plus size and then I will head home and show you what I got so far. Nothing in the plus size. So I'm gonna go down this dress aisle and we'll see. I don't even know if I wanna look up comps for this. It's probably not great, just feels cheap. If you know me, you know that I love Disney. This is like a little tangled theme dress, Hot Topic. It was $10, but I looked up comps and they looked pretty decent. I don't know anything about hard goods, but I saw this Pyrex. I think I'm just gonna keep it for myself though as a measuring cup. Okay, I'm glad I'm not relying on these stores for inventory because they've been just like, okay. So I'm gonna go home and get Ryan. We're going to the grocery store and then we will get into a haul. Actually, I forgot there's a Play-Doh's closet really close and I haven't been here in like forever. So we're gonna go in here and see what I can find. They obviously don't know about this brand. Okay, I ended up just getting like a couple of things for Ryan. I didn't really find, actually I found those one clogs to resale. Um, I did find some Lululemon men's like khaki kind of pants that were in a size 31, which is what Ryan wears. I don't know if he's gonna want them, but he only has like one pair of jeans that he wears to church. Otherwise he has all athletic clothes. So I'm gonna see. Then I also got some Hey Dudes there, which Ryan's getting into apparently. So yes, okay, now I'm heading home for real. Okay, it's Tuesday morning. I'm gonna show you everything I got these past few days. I was at a thrift world and a Goodwill. And then of course, like I said, Plato's Closet. So I got some good stuff to list. It'll probably all be listed within the next couple of days if you guys are interested in any of it. You can check all of my stores and closets, all of that information's down below. Or you can message me on Instagram and we can work out a deal off platform. So um, I did end up getting a few more things I forgot. I got these Taylor Stitch jeans at Plato's Closet. Comps were pretty good for them and they had them marked pretty cheap. They are a size 32. This is a good men's bolo brand to be on the lookout for. I think they are a slim fit. So I will be listing these. Ryan did try on the Lululemon pants and they said they fit him really good. So that's good. I also ended up getting these men's Patagonia shorts just because they were a big size. I think they're extra, extra large. Yeah, and I think they're gonna sell super quick. So I probably double my money with those. And then you guys saw these um clogs in the video these are half flinger i think that's how you pronounce them they only had them priced at eight bucks they obviously don't know the brand this is a good wow those just fell apart this is a good like clog brand to be to look out for they're made in it says right here germany so yeah excited that i got those were pretty cheap i didn't feel like like looking through all their racks so i just scanned the shoes and then I went through the men's section a little bit. <coughs> <coughs> okay, I got this just because I feel like it's so cool and unique. It is a whole bunch of like lighthouses and sailboats. It's a vintage jacket. It's kind of like a mid length jacket and it is by the brand Blair. It's a size large. I guess I'll see if I can find it online. Otherwise I'll probably price it around 40 bucks. But I don't know. Every once in a while, I just pick up stuff because I'm like, this is cute. And then see what happens. Okay. Also from that Goodwill, I got a couple things for my brother. I got this Nat Nast shirt. This is a purple and black like color block shirt. He sells this brand a decent amount of times. And then I also got him these North Face men's shorts. These are a size extra, extra large. They had some blue men's North Face shorts as well, probably the same person, but they were a little bit like too worn. He's like really particular about what he lists and he likes stuff to be in like almost new condition. Here's the Paul Green shoes that I got. These um, are a size, I don't remember, cause you know, Paul Green's got the weird sizing. It says three and a half, so I'll have to look that up. It is a leather peep toe, like block heel little boot or sandal whatever you want to say. 
So that's great. I like selling Paul Green. I also got these Dance Go shoes. These are like a patent leather, kind of like a watercolor type look. Um, a tiny bit of scuffing like on the toe, but there's no wear. Like I always, yeah, I was like, wait, is there? I always look right here in my reflection. It looks like it's like worn off a little, but then when I look at it, it doesn't look like it is. So I check right here, but these are in really nice condition. They are the XP, which I don't know if that has, makes it any more desirable. And they're a size 38. So that was the other pair of shoes. I ended up getting the cute little baby high top Converse, but I put the other ones back. They're like a silver sparkle with pink. I couldn't resist. They're so cute. Let me see what size they are. Oh my gosh. They're so tiny. I was like, oh, oh my gosh. It's all the way down in here. Okay. They're baby size four. So got the little baby Converse. Uh, I got these Athleta shorts. I've been finding, this is a size six. These linen athletics shorts recently, and they have been selling pretty good for me, around 20 bucks. These are gray with a drawstring and stretchy waist. Here is the newest Tags Madewell skirt. Um, it is, I think, like a midi length, possibly close to maxi, but I don't know if it's quite a maxi. It is a size 2XL, little floral print. So that's really cute. Here's those beta brand pants. I've still been selling beta brand for like $20, $25. Even the weird colors, extra large, stretchy dress yoga pants. Some people said it's not selling very well for them anymore, but it still is for me. So I'm going to continue to pick them up. And then I got this pair of jeans. This is the brand Motel Denim. I have never heard of this. Let me know down below in the comments if you have. They are a size 30. And I did see some pretty decent comps for this brand. So I wanted to try it. They are 100% cotton. I do not see a style anywhere. So I'll have to just kind of like figure it out on my own. But that's a new brand for me to try. And then here's the tiny baby Keens. <laughs> oh, whenever I have grandkids, I'm gonna like get them so much cute stuff. I'm like, how are these real? The baby can't even be walking. Maybe, I guess. They're so tiny. Let me see if I can find a size. I think they're probably like the other ones. Yes. They're a size four. So if you have a little outdoor baby, I have some shoes for you. Ah, they're so cute. Okay. Let's move on. Next, we're going to the Thrift World bag, which is where we had the really weird people. That was like, what is happening? People make fun of Council Bluffs for being like kind of a ghetto city. And sometimes I'm like, okay, sometimes you're right. <laughs> like that was like, ugh. But hey, that can happen anywhere. Okay. Um, Athleta, these are older, size eight, but I will still pick them up in certain styles. These are like a hiking outdoor trail pant. So I went ahead and got these because a lot of people are starting to buy this stuff right now in the spring. I also really debated about these. They are new with tag free people, size 29, um, but I looked them up and some of them have sold for like 60 bucks. I paid 15. They're a plaid high rise, like huge bell bottom flare pants. I don't know, they were so cool. I didn't want to leave them behind. So I did end up paying up for those. We will see if it's worth it. Next is a plus size Talbots. This is a size 2X and I got this because of the print. It's kind of like giving me like boat, sailing, yacht, I don't know, like summer vibes. So I wanted to try that. Next is a short sleeve Athleta shirt. This is a size medium and I think it's a newer one, but maybe not, I don't know. Um, I'll look up the name on there. It's just a green, like stretchy, like workout shirt. Next we have some denim. These are the newest tags cut from the cloth Catherine boyfriend shorts in a size 10. Paid up $10 for these. They're a cuffed style. I will use the words modest in my keywords and hopefully those will sell quickly. 
I got these for Ryan. I'm like, why'd I buy these? They're Levi's size 31. He's in a 31. I found a pair of like 32 jeans from the buckle at the thrift store and they are a little loose on him. So I'm trying to find him some more 31s. I really like don't want to go into a store and pay retail. I don't actually want to do that with like hardly anything. So he's going to try those on. We'll throw those over there. He's finally starting to get out of his athletic phase. I ended up getting these Madewell shorts. They were too cute, size 28. And they're just like a, almost like a, I don't know, not yellow, but a little yellow, I guess. Look at my shirt. With the floral print and a little longer inseam. So that is cute. I haven't found this brand in a while. It's Calypso St. Barth, which should do good right now with summertime. It's a size small, white with navy blue embroidered button up top. Very pretty. Next we have a swimsuit. Swimsuits are selling really good for me right now. This is a Land's End size 18. I think my last Land's End swimsuit I sold for $17, $18. So definitely like don't pay up for this brand, but if it's a de decent price, they are selling quickly right now, especially the bigger sizes. This is a black ruched one piece. So I figured I would try that out. I got one pair of shoes and it's the brand Salomon, Salomon, like an outdoor trail hiking shoe. Looks like it got plenty of tread left on them. So really good condition, the toggle closure. And these are a size seven. So got those. Next were a pair of figs. I think I actually got two of these. Figs scrub pants, these are a size small tall. These are gray with the teal drawstring and Figs has a style number on their tag and it will tell you the style name of the pants and then you can look them up for comps. So I think it is right, yeah, it's right in the very bottom. Anyway, you don't really need to see that, but, and I found one more too. I looked through all the rest of the scrubs hoping to find more or like tops, but I only found the two pants. These ones are just a size small. And they are like a teal, like aqua color drawstring. Sometimes they have these in the athletic pants section because honestly, they look more comfy like athletic pants rather than scrub tops. Okay, last bag here. This was the one where I walked in right away and I found the three Lululemon sports bras on the new rack. I'm debating if I wanna let Grace look at these. I mean, they're not gonna sell for that much, but I don't know if she cares as much about sports bras because She's not showing her sports bra when she's wearing stuff. So maybe she doesn't care as much. This one's a size eight anyway, which is a little big for her. She wears like a four six. So we have that one, like the black and the gold. And then we have this pink one. It's kind of like a V front with the normal bra strap back. And let me see what size this one is. None of these have the padding like inserts which honestly as a woman I think is really annoying anyway. I mean, sometimes you like kind of need them. Um, okay, TMI, we're done talking about that. <laughs> Sorry, okay, I can't find a size without totally wasting time. So I'm gonna assume it's probably around the same size, like a six or eight. There is three little lines back here. Does that mean something? I don't remember. So the logo on that one is just on the back there. It's kind of like the same color. And then here's the other one, which I feel like I've sold a jacket in this print before and here's the back like very strappy with the logo right there and let me see about this one is a size six so yeah i think they're all six eight i did spend 99 dollars at that store next was this disney princess romper that i had to get because i'm obsessed with disney but it was new with tags from hot topic um, and an extra large. So those are some factors that I use in making that decision. If it was an extra small or something, I don't know if I would have gotten it, but it's so cute. It's Rapunzel theme. Actually, they're almost like, would you call this a romper? Like overalls though, because look at the back. Kind of almost like overalls. Oh, it'd be perfect for something going to Disney. That's like not my vibe or my size, but I need to start like figuring out what I'm gonna wear to Disney. Although we're only, we're going to Disneyland, so it's less than we normally go. We're going three days. Usually when we go to Disney World, we do five days. But still, it'll be fun. This is Torrid 1X. It is a sheer like mauve pink roll tab, 
high-low hem tunic top. It's very long in the back, very flowy and pretty for spring. I think this is Torrid again. This was in the dress section. It is a size 3X. And I think this is another top though because it's super sheer and it's a high low. So I think that's another like same style um, tunic top. LuLaRoe does good in the jeans, especially the bigger sizes. This is a size 30 and they are a pair of like black high rise stretch skinny jeans. So definitely wanted to get those. These also came out on a new rack and they were Lululemon Align, I think, right? It's like a black leopard print high rise joggers. So they're a little looser and then tapered down here at the bottom. Let me see if I can find a size really quick. They are a size eight. So pretty cute, I'm excited to get those. I was hoping they would bring out new racks, but when I walked past the door, you know, where you can see in the back, if they have like racks lined up to come out and there wasn't any more and I'm like, eh, okay, so I just left. Okay, free people. I think I've just sold this in a different color recently. Size extra small. It's a long sleeve, but it almost has this like ruching on the puff, puff sleeve kind of. Mini dress or tunic, however you want to wear it. If it's a dress, it's going to be short. It has a keyhole back opening, but some people might like that for festivals. I don't know. I'll probably use that in my keywords. This is a pair of page jeans, which I don't hardly ever get anymore because they don't sell that good for me. Size 25, but I did look up this style. It's the Bridget, which it's super easy to find. It's right there. And they did pretty good actually. So I decided to try them. They have a little bit of stressing at the knee. I think they're like a high rise straight leg denim jean. I also got these for myself. I'm like, why did I get Target? They actually look like long. And I'm like, hmm. So I'm still trying to like figure out this trend that's not skinny jeans. I put something on my Instagram story last week. Like, what do I wear with them? And if also like, what do I wear that's like my style? Like I'm like casual, like not like ultra, but like pretty casual. So I'm still trying to figure that all out. Okay, these are Lafayette 148 pants. Again, not a brand I get all the time, but these seemed newer. And they are a size, I don't know, where is it? Size medium. They're like a really stretchy orange, loose fit wide leg dress pants. So I will see if I can find any comps on those, but that brand is like stupidly expensive. Next is another brand, pair of beta brand. I couldn't stop finding these apparently. Size large long. These are black. They could use a lint roll or a washing. They kind of look like maybe a boot cut style. So I will look those up. Beta brand also has a style. And then Ellie's coughing over here. Athleta size 12. This is a cute, just like outdoor skirt, like a little cargo skirt in a gray color. Let me see if it has built-in shorts. Yes, it does. So very cute there. And then a few pair of shoes. I found these Vionics. These are a size 11. This is like a good comfort shoe brand to be on the lookout for with a little bit of a heel, but not really. Um, it's called the Amber. So that's printed right inside there. You can super easy find a stock photo if you want to. These are Allbirds, which I thought that I swore off, but certain styles can do good. And these are high top versions, not just the wool runners. And it did look like that they do better than the wool runners. I've also sold the ballet flats really well before too. So I'm gonna try these. They are a men's size 10. So let me know if you've sold all birds in the high top style and how they did it for you. And then last, I'm starting to be able to spot these without seeing the brand. It's the brand Noble. This is a Bolo brand. These are gray with like a floral detail shoes. I have a pair listed right now some men's and these ones are a they all they're always unisex but i would list these as women's size eight just because they look more like a women's shoe so that's it guys oh wait and here's my little pyrex measuring cup i got for myself i don't know if this is worth anything but i'm like sometimes i feel like i could use a good new measuring cup so that's gonna be hard to get off oh my gosh 
Sorry, Ellie, she's on alert. Dustin's gone, so she's protecting the house. Anyway, I was gonna say if you have any tips for getting this off better than what I'm doing by like peeling tiny sections. Okay, maybe some Goo Gone? That's what I use sometimes downstairs. Okay, I am done rambling. I will see you guys on Friday for my What Sold video. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't yet, give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.